Hi everyone, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support team with SDR Play. In this video, I will show you some of the great features and functions of the SDR Uno ADSB decoder plugin. Let's start with a basic explanation of what ADSB is and what is the ADSB decoder. Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast ADSB is a worldwide aviation communication system used mainly by aircraft in order to constantly transmit and receive data on a frequency of 1090 megahertz. The SDR Uno ADSB plugin is a decoder that specifically decodes these ADSB transmissions. The ADSB plugin can also rebroadcast its received ADSB transmissions over your network for additional processing. After launching the ADSB plugin, the audio will mute, the plugin will automatically tune the RSP to the frequency of 1090. Pressing start in the ADSB plugin window will start the decoding process. The plugin shows the following data in real time the hexadecimal identifier, the transponder type, the squawk transponder code, the registration, the altitude, the speed, the magnetic heading, the Latin long receive signal strength indication, the number of received messages from the aircraft, and finally, age of the last update from the aircraft. The ADSB plugin manages data in three areas, the plugin window, the internal web server, over a network, or all three at the same time. Let's look at another feature that's part of the ADSB plugin, and that's the internal ADSB server and web page. Accessing the internal ADSB web page is by opening your web browser and inputting the URL 127.0.0.1.8080. This web page receives ADSB data directly from the web server, which in turn gets its data from the SDR Uno ADSB plugin. The internal web server uses script files for web page processing. You can edit many of these scripts, but if editing scripts is not for you, then you can leave them as is. Here are just some of the script options that you can edit. Default center map location, terrain limit rings, adding range rings in your center location, adding a Microsoft Bing's map, and changing clock sizes. Again, you can leave the scripts as is, or you can configure them to your liking. I highly recommend reading the included ADSB plugin help file. Remember, the SDR Uno ADSB plugin manages data in three different areas the plugin window, the internal web server, or externally fed into third party decoders. Here is an example of all three being processed and all at the same time. The ADSB plugin manages all data connections. Remember, ADSB signals are line of sight and are all related to an aircraft. That aircraft is broadcasting its data and then in turn it's received by the RSP, processed in real time by SDR Uno. Pretty amazing stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. Warmest of 73, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section. And I'll see you in the next video.